Hello everybody, welcome back on my channel. Thank you for tuning in. As you may know, I try to read and to respond to each and every comment of yours. And one of the most frequently asked questions is what I carry around in my backpack. In this video, I want to show you the content of my backpack and everything else I need for detecting. Before I show you what's in my backpack, I show you what I carry in my trouser pockets and attach to my belt. In my left leg pocket, I have the most important thing you need for detecting in Germany. It's a metal detecting permission. Whenever I go metal detecting, I'm obliged to have the permit with me in case the police comes up to me and asks for it. Also in this pocket, I have small fines bags, fine slips to fill out for proper documentation and a map of my hunting ground. In my right leg pocket, I have my good finds box. It used to be a container for bolts. I put a soft padding in the compartments and cut slits in it. Now I can transport coins and other small finds in a safe and practical way. Here on my belt, I have my trash find pouch. It's a roofer's nail pouch and therefore very rugged. In here is also my modified toothbrush. I sharpened the end of the grip to remove earth from finds. I used to brush coins with it on the field, but I stopped doing that as the sand in the earth can scratch the coins. For digging I use a very stable root spade. It slices through roots like through butter because of its narrow and special shaped blade. In my car I always have these flags to mark and enclose special spots or areas. They are very useful to divide large fields into small manageable patches. By using this method your detecting becomes more accurate. Ok, let's take a look into the main compartment of the backpack. Here I carry the telescopic stem of my Deos and two different coils. It's the 9 inch HF and the 11 inch X35 coil. If you want more information about these coils, you can find the respective links in the video description. In the main compartment I also transport snacks and drinks. In order to be able to detect for 8 hours and more, you need a proper break every once in a while. Let's continue with the top pocket. Here I store banding material, plasters and disinfection wipes. I once volunteered on an archaeological excavation where I found a beautiful axe head from medieval times. It was still so sharp that I cut my finger quite deeply and as you can imagine I was very happy to have my first aid kit with me. I can only recommend you to have a first aid kit in your backpack as well. Also in the top pocket I keep the charge cable for the deals. By the way, I never had to recharge my machine out in the fields as the batteries last for ages. Now to the right and left upper side pockets. In there I carry my wireless headphones, the remote control of the Deos and my GPS device. The GPS device is necessary to document the finds position according to the reporting procedures given in the permission contract of the Department of Archaeology. The find coordinates count to the most important information of a feature. In the right lower side compartment I have my pinpointer, my trowel which I mostly use on excavations, a yardstick for documenting the depth of a find 
and a washing up brush. It's very important to maintain your gear and that's why you should always clean it after a detecting day. The Expedios is a high quality product and very well built. You don't hear the slightest squeak when swinging it and there's no backlash whatsoever. The exact construction of the stem however requires maintenance. If you retract the stem when it's dirty you will cause scratches or even dents on the middle part, which will cause it to jam. Another important reason why you should always clean your detector is not to neglect. When you are detecting a mineralized field in dry conditions, dust will gather between the coil and the coil cover. In wet conditions, the hot dust will mix with water, which makes it more conductive, and the moving mud under the coil will cause false signals. Now to the left lower side compartment. Here I keep some spare headphones, a woolly hat in case it's colder than predicted, and some very handy and warm gloves. A rain cape, spare batteries, a pen knife and a multifunction tool I keep in the upper middle pocket and in the lower middle case I have a notebook, a towel, a cloth bag for the random mushroom hoard, working gloves, bug spray and the backpack's rain cover. Now that you know what's in my backpack, I'm very interested in the gear you use. Please write a comment and tell me about your must-haves for detecting. Thank you for watching and until next time I wish you good luck and happy hunting. Bye bye, au revoir und auf Wiedersehen.